Finding profitable keywords that allows your books to make money month after month has never been easy, until now. Dibbly just came out with a new tool that not only saves you time, but a ton of frustration when you're looking for profitable keywords for Amazon. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so to make things super easy for you guys, I've put the link for Kip Scout in the description of the video. It should be also in the pinned comment. Go ahead, click that link. It's gonna bring you to the Chrome Web Store, or you can get there however you normally get there. And we're gonna download Kip Scout and install it. Now it's super easy. It's just like how you install every other extension. I do wanna remind you when you install it, make sure you go into manage, Go to manage, let me find it here, and extensions, manage, Kip Scout, details, and you want to turn on allow in incognito mode because uh, when you're doing your keyword research, you're gonna be using it in Google Chrome incognito. Okay, so let's say that's all done, ready to go. Okay, so now we're on Amazon, and let's say we already have our niche, we've already done the initial part of our research, and uh, we have a keyword that we want to verify. So we're gonna change this to the bookstore, of course, and let's think of a keyword that nobody's thought of before. Mm, chair yoga for seniors, let's start with that. So I'm gonna type in chair yoga for seniors. Okay, hit enter, boom. So everything loads. I'm gonna go over to Kip here, and everything's gonna show up right away. Now, what you see here is you have some stats at the top here. You have a profitability icon. You have some stats down, or some little icons down here. We'll get there in a second. So the way you wanna use this is, you're first gonna go into your settings, setting menu, okay? And the thing that makes Kip Scout so unique and so transformative is it allows you to set your own profitability criteria because there's a lot of people who teach you how to make money online with Amazon KDP, and everybody has kind of their own way of what is profitable or not. So this is a tool that allows you to use it no matter who's teaching you how to make money with Amazon. So the first thing that we're gonna look at is ignore sponsored listings in the profitable criteria scan because we don't want ads to uh, mess up our criteria when we're looking for a new book or a new keyword. So let's say we'll take the basics. I'm looking for, it's my keyword will be profitable if I, if I can find three books making over $500 a month and they have less than 150 reviews. That's like the standard criteria most people are using right now. So maximum number of reviews for a book to be included is 150, okay? Minimum profit, minimum revenue for a book to be included is $500. Right, so it's making at least $500. Minimum number of profitable books in the top search, in the top results for a search term to be considered profitable, it's gonna be three. Number of top results to be included, we're gonna put 20 because that'll be the first page of Amazon, okay? So we're just gonna leave it like that for right now. We're gonna go back to results and it's already loaded. And now you see this says it's profitable. So automatically it's telling you this keyword, Cherry Air for Seniors, is profitable based on the criteria. There's minimum of three books, over $500 in revenue, with 150 reviews on the first page. Like that, you can actually trust this little green dot here now. If you wanna confirm it yourself, right? Let's sort by reviews, scroll down. Okay, 150, so 137, 1500, Cherry Yoga, 117, 12, 12, 16, right? And you can see, yeah, it hits the criteria. But now let's change it. Let's say you're slightly more advanced. You're looking for, you're looking for a book. Let's say you want, how can I try to trick this here? Let's say you want the minimum revenue to be like $2,000 and you want at least five books making over $2,000 a month with a minimum or a maximum of 150 reviews. Okay, hopefully this, so now, okay, boom, look at that. So now based on that criteria, it's now unprofitable. And we know that we can confirm, 
okay? Because what was the setting again I said? So 2005, okay? So reviews, 150, and okay, so there's one book. You can see it's highlighted green number nine, Joy Girl for Weight Loss, and it's making over the $2,000 a month, but that's the only one here. So based on that criteria, this keyword would not be profitable for you. How cool is that? Do me a favor, if you think that's cool, make sure you go like this video on the channel right now. Appreciate that. Okay, now what are some other cool things that we can do here? Well, check this out. If we go back to settings, okay? Okay, we go down to the search table. This allows you to customize the information that you're looking at. Because let's be honest, do we care how, when we're first looking for our keyword research, we just want to know the, the, the bare bones basic, right? It's the first step of the keyword research. So for example, we don't really care for how many pages are in a book right away, okay? We might not care about, maybe, maybe you care about the, the price of it or whatnot, but for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna take those off. And then, so you can toggle those off and it kind of cleans up what you're looking at here, right? Sales per month, let's remove that because that's irrelevant in my mind. Sales volume column. Okay, so now it's a much cleaner, right? We have reviews, we have monthly revenue, we have rank. So it's a lot easier and quicker and cleaner to look at. And that's what I love about this, okay? Okay, now there's a couple other things we can take a look at here. If we go back into settings, um, okay, well, if you're making your books via Create and their AI, you can also save the books that you find directly to Create through Kip Scout. So by doing that, we take a look at the take a look at the book. So this one right here, and obviously you can click it, it'll open up the book it, as well. I'll just do that really quick here and show you. It's also gonna give you a little summary of their info right here. So you do have that at a glance as well. Now, boom, and by the way, it saves your settings even if you leave the tab, which is super, super helpful for me because I hate having to redo you know, my settings every single time. Uh, so if you want to save the book here, you can click on this little save note or whatever that icon is. You can click on it and it's automatically going to save it to my create account so I have my notes for that, um, for that book ready to go as I'm doing my research and everything like that. You can customize that by right here, select Debbie Create Project to save the books and you can select the project that you're, you're working on and then the prefix for Debbie Create section. So it could be like Cherwai um, Research or something like that, right? And then saving it as a section or as a note, yada, yada, yada. And yeah, so that's pretty cool right there. So anyways, I've been using this for the last little bit here and I just love it. I love the look of it, I love the layout of it. I love how intuitive it is because it allows me to just do keyword research my way and I'm not restricted and there's not a whole bunch of stuff on here that I'm not gonna use or if there is, I can just remove it. So it's a, it's a lot more intuitive than some of the tools that I've used in the past. And the best part is, it's 100% free. It's free, it doesn't cost you a penny. So it is free, and I think that is one of the coolest things to come out of Dibbly and slash the Urban Writers in a long, long time. So anyways, everybody, my name is Mecca, in case you forgot. Make sure you like this video. Share this video in all your Facebook publishing groups so they can jump on this tool. Since it is free, share this video, please. Let's get the word out. Kip Scout has arrived.